Hello, this is Peter Sterling from PeterSterlingFilms.com in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, we're here on the North Shore right now, about 30 miles away from Honolulu at Pipeline, and we've got a huge north swell hitting uh, about 15 feet Hawaiian, which is uh, measured from the back of the wave. Um, that's the way we do it here in Hawaii, but the front of the waves, the faces of the waves are about 30 to 40 feet high. It's way too big for Pipeline, and it's also the wrong direction. It's a north swell. Pipeline works best on a northwest swell, so we're waiting for a northwest swell so that we can have uh, some great conditions here at Pipeline. But anyway, uh, it's just a little background on where I'm at right now. I'm actually here to talk about the evolution of telephoto lenses over the last 10 years or 15 years. Uh, my first uh, super telephoto lens that I got was in 1993. I got an 800 millimeter 5.6 L Canon lens, uh, which at that time cost $3,300. And uh, right now you can get a uh, I think a 600 f4 um, Canon image stabilized lens for about ten thousand dollars so the prices are really going up but I used that lens for about two years got really good at it I wear I wear I just practiced every day for six hours you know tracking windsurfers uh, going down the line on the wave at 25 miles an hour keeping them right in the frame at all times keeping them focused at all times very difficult but you know I like challenges so I had that lens for two years then I got a 500 f4 Nikkor lens with a 2x Nikon converter and then I had an effective focal length of 1000 at f8 so I could use it at 500 f4 if I wanted to or put the 2x converter on and have a 1000 f8 that was also manual focus but a thousand millimeters is a really strong powerful super telephoto and I got some of my best waves of big wave surfing at Jaws or Piahi the Hawaiian name uh, with that 1000 f8 uh, combination and they were crystal clear even with the 2x converter uh, actually my favorite photo they ever got there out of 10,000 photos was taken with that combination the Nikon 500 millimeter and the 2x so after two years I got a 400 2.8 um, Canon autofocus lens Roman numeral 2 super fast autofocusing um, and I had a 2x converter for that also, which gave me an 800 5.6. Uh, that was an L lens also, and super fast, super quiet autofocusing. But the lens weighed 15 pounds, and you know, uh, really, really heavy for carrying around. Uh, and if you're traveling, especially, uh, that just that's a backpack right there, just the lens. So you know, I'm pretty much a one-man show. And uh, I used to carry, you know, five bags of equipment all around Europe when I was making my film European Surf Journal, which is available on Amazon.com. But uh, what I did is I got this lens right here, which is a Sigma EX, which is their top of the line uh, range of lenses. It has uh, ED glass or APO glass, really special expensive glass. So the images are really, really crystal clear. This is a zoom 120 to 300, and it's a constant aperture f 2.8. But look at the size of this. The other lenses, the 800 5.6L, my first lens was about that long. The 500 f4 Nikon, the second lens was about that long. The 400 2.8L Canon L lens was 15 pounds, about that long, really heavy, cumbersome, uh, difficult to, to, to handle. But then I got this one for traveling. And I have a special uh, 2x converter for this. So when I put this on, the 2x converter, uh, on a full frame camera, uh, I have a uh, 240 to 600 millimeter with this and the 2x converter. And when I actually put this on a crop frame sensor camera like a 60D or a 7D Canon, uh, I'm going to have a multiplication of times 5 or times 6, I think. So I get m even longer. I think the longer range of this is 840 millimeters with the 2x converter on here so and this is much lighter much shorter much easier to handle much easier to travel with super super awesome quality also half the price of Canon lenses but I would say equivalent in my experience pretty much equivalent to L glass uh, so this is the Sigma EX series they have all kinds of EX series lenses they're great and uh, this has a tripod collar as you can see where you actually attach the lens to the tripod like that and then all the weight is on the tripod right here and you have your camera back here and the last one I wanted to show you is 
This is the latest in evolution. This is for a Panasonic GH3 camera which shoots full HD uh, quality. And um, this is a 100 to 300 millimeter Lumix lens with optical image stabilization built in. Here's a switch right here to turn it on or off. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I was skeptical um, when I actually first got this because I was wondering how could this compare to my 400 2.8L Canon lens, which, you know, weighed 15 pounds. It's a world standard for, for sports telephotos, super telephotos. So I did use it a few times now so far, and um, uh, one reviewer said, you know, don't use it fully racked out at 600 uh, or fully uh, racked in at 100. Use it at 120 or 580. And then that's the sweet spot in between there. You'll get great shots. And you also have to remember, even though this is so small, when you have it racked out at, say, 300, and you put it on a Panasonic GH3, that's a micro four-thirds camera, you have to double it. So instead of a 100-300, it's a 200 to 600. So if you're using this at 600 millimeters effective focal length, you have to use a very fast shutter speed. And the rule is, with 600 millimeters, you're going to have to use at least 1 750th of a second for a, a stable, steady shot. So for me, I actually would use a minimum of 1 1,000th of a second with the 600 millimeter to get a steady shot, or even, even faster. If you've got a lot of uh, sunlight, it's a really bright day, I would use 1 1,500th of a second or 1 2,000th. You have this locked down on a tripod, on a nice fluid head tripod, steady tripod and you can have great shots with this lens. I've gotten fantastic shots with this lens and you can just see, you know, the difference. This, this lens right here is, you know, half the size or one third the size of the 400 2.8 Canon L. And this is, this is half the size of this one. So um, it's, the size is just going down, the quality is getting better. And um, all I can say is uh, I, I, I have nothing good Nothing but good to say about the Panasonic GH3 and all these uh, Lumix um, lenses. The only thing you do have to consider though is the uh, Canon was a 402.8. This is uh, much slower. I think this is a 4.5 to 5, no, it's a 4.0 to 5.6. So it's slower, but if you're out shooting on a sunny day, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this gives great quality, uh, that's it. So that's all I got. Appreciate your viewing my video and um, uh, stay tuned for more. Mahalo.